Now, what I like a lot about the uh, hitch climber system, very streamlined, stays uh, very close to, is very responsive. Just the littlest bit, and you move. You can make uh, really nice far swings with just two fingers here, and coming in back from limb walks, especially really far high angle ones, it's relatively easy. And you just take out your slack. Or you can just come in with one hand, tending your slack, depending on how the walk is. It's also really good if you're spiking. You can tend your slack pretty easy with one hand. Let's just say I had spikes on, I could just spike right up, and so on and so forth. Now, what I don't like about it is that for every pull I pull, I lose about an inch or two before the hitch grabs. Even if it's a really tight hitch, you still lose this uh, the length of the braid here, the, the length of the first bend or braid. Whereas with a Blake, as soon as you pull down, you lock it. Also, I don't like, when you're going up, you usually do about three pulls or so before you take out your slack until it gets enough rope to start self-tending. Now, what I don't like about that, what I think is slightly unsafe, is if, if you got three pulls and you slip for whatever reason, you get a leaf in your hand or something, you're going to fall about three pulls worth before it catches you as opposed to a Blake where you'd only fall one pull worth. Uh, a little way you can combat that is to extend the distance between the hitch system and your tie-in point. So I'll just uh, use some cordage here clip in and now I'm completely below it and I just pull down the whole way and then when I get to a point where I can lanyard in I can pull it close to me and take that out of the equation and clip back in so get to about here or wherever I want to go. I see I was going the whole way up. Lanyard in. Nice and secure. That's got my body weight. Bring the thing down to me. Get that out of there. Clip in. Tighten it up. Take this off my bridge. And then I'm ready to work the tree. So, the major benefit that I've always loved about this is as soon as you get one pull in, you capture the entire, entire length of your progress. One pull, pull, there it is, it's captured. Not three pulls and then you take the slack out and immediately do it. The downside being that on long limb walks, if you're working, say, way out here, you're reaching down here and you need a little more slack, you go to reach for your knot and it's far away unless you make it shorter, but if you make it really short, then it's not so good for uh, ascending the tree. So you either have to change your length or do something else. And coming back in from really high angled uh, limb walks is a little bit of a struggle. You have to keep tending in like that. It's just a little easier with the hitch climber. We're just gonna set this thing up your uh, standing end of the rope and this will enable you to just pull down just tending the knot the whole time and it'll grip and hold I believe a lot nicer than even doing this sort of version where you extend the bridge of the hitch climber
so there's a little tension and voila you just pull right down takes you right up and there's no uh there's no unclipping and switching over or anything like that if you don't want it there anymore you just reach up and get it out of your way now it doesn't bother you now you can pull away to your heart's content the pulley system's out of your way or if you need it again for another long ascent put it back where it was take full advantage I can also take your slack out with one hand as long as you can push some of your weight off of it but if you want to repel get the thing out of your way and then you can start coming down the only difference with this and the hitch climber too, the Blake is not quite as responsive and you can't quite make the same kind of swings you used to.